heard you were cooking. Mm-hmm. to winter time y'all <laughs> not really winter but it is pretty cool today and the wind is blowing which makes it feel cooler than it is we're headed to town this afternoon we got to go to tractor supply to get shavings and all for the chicken pen then we need to go to a grocery store for a few things and i'm still trying to decide if i want to do walmart or ingles it's probably crazy right now it got cold people are probably buying that bread and milk already yeah, let's go. car wash isn't too busy today bubbles, bubbles. Like the sign says, y'all, the fun is not over. It's time to vacuum. I had to get the broken vacuum. That was the most vicious vacuuming experience ever. The end kept popping off and I tried to screw it back on like three times but it would not stay on. And it kept popping off and it would grab my hair and then it was grabbing this. Felt like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids when the lawnmower was coming at them for some reason. This little piggy stays home. <laughs> home is where your herd is. Come on in, but the couch is mine. Heard you were cooking. Mm -hmm. Christmas ornaments are out. Oh, look at the horse with the little uh oh. Oh, Santa's riding a piggy, a, a cow. cow. <laughs> oh, and a goat on a tractor. Y'all didn't know Santa was a farmer. This one is called Outhouse Santa. Sasquatch hide and seek champion. adorable. Look Manny, it's Frosty and his chickens. The chickens at the Christmas tree. cornbread in the oven tonight we're making smothered pork chops kind of like the smothered pork chops at Paula Dean's family kitchen but not exactly I'm changing some things up so we're gonna have those cornbread green beans and mashed potatoes boo, boo you scared me yeah. oh. hmm? cheese? what no it's not cheese I don't have any cheese today over here you like cornbread Church like a big old grizzly bear. Can you yeah. do a grizzly stretch? Do a grizzly stretch. I got a shirt. He's got a shirt on, Daddy. He don't want to show his tummy like that. I don't care. <laughs> Baking powder. for the pork chops. I'm putting a little bit of buttermilk in this bowl. We'll set that back there and in this plate we're gonna put our flour mixture. So I have some bone-in chops and some boneless. And like I said, I'm not doing these exactly like the Paula Deen's kitchen ones, but kinda. They were inspired by those. I've already got my oil heating up over here in the skillet. I'm gonna put a little bit of this 
roasted garlic and herb seasoning in the flour. We're gonna season our pork chops with a little bit of it too, but I wanna put some in the flour so the breading gets some of that flavor on there too. We're gonna do the boneless first because they don't make as much of a mess in the pan as the bone-in. So we'll go ahead and get those done first. I'm just gonna put this garlic and herb seasoning on the pork chops instead of, you know, doing a lot of different things. I'm just gonna season both sides of them. Then I'm gonna stick them over here in the buttermilk. And they're just gonna rest over there while I season up these other ones. I have four boneless and one, two, three, four, five, five or six bone-in. I'm just gonna reach in here and get the ones that we put in first. We're gonna put them in the flour. And you can double dip them if you want to, but I'm not gonna double dip this time. A lot of times I do double dip with pork chops, not when eating salsa and things like that with people. We don't do that. <laughs> now we're just gonna put it straight over here in the skillet. Oh my goodness, like just putting them in that buttermilk for just a little bit really makes them start getting tender. So I put a good bit of oil in here because they do a deep fry of their pork chops at Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. These boneless ones, I'm just gonna set a four and a half minute timer. I accidentally started the microwave. I'm gonna set a four and a half minute timer and then we'll flip them and go another four and a half minutes and then these should be done. While those are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and slice up a green bell pepper and a red onion. Whenever all the pork chops get done, we're gonna make a gravy and I'm just gonna take one of my little frying pans and we'll cook these until they're tender and then we serve the pork chops with the gravy and the grilled peppers and onions or sauteed peppers and onions. We're gonna saute them with a little bit of butter. Boneless pork chops are done. These three are about to be done, and then we have two more bone in to cook. We gotta make the gravy. I already have the onions and peppers ready back here. Cornbread's done, green beans are ready, and it's smelling good in here. Okay y'all, pork chops are done. Now we're gonna make the gravy. I took out most of the oil that we had in here. I left just enough for some gravy. So I just put in some all-purpose flour. I did try to scrape the bottom a little bit to make sure there weren't any burnt pieces of the breading on the bottom. Need a little more flour. So how I can tell when I have enough flour is when it starts to thicken up as I stir it in, I know then that that is enough. So right now we need just a little bit more making a good bit of gravy because I'm sure everybody's gonna want some on their pork chops. There we go. See how it starts to get pretty thick there? All right, go ahead and pour some milk in there, Tyler. Looking for the rake. Look at all these leaves, y'all. Our blower, I thought it was just out of gas the other day. So I asked Jake to stop and get me some gas on his way home from work. Well, it was out of gas, but it also needs some kind of oil that I didn't know that it needed. So as soon as we get that, we're gonna build the biggest leaf pile you've ever seen. Oh goodness, I almost fell. <laughs> Hello, girls. Hello. Sissy's gonna bring out the turkey. He doesn't wanna come out. Everything's fine. I just hope we can catch him to put him back up. Yeah, he'll probably stay with the chickens. They did really good. He ate a leaf? Yeah. We're giving the pen a reset, everyone. Chicken pen reset. <laughs> Are you ready for this, Manny? Fall break begins today. Gets to the scary part. What is this world coming to? That was good, Jonah. You made it all the way to the top. 